Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Autumn. Me and my husband Caleb are headed to Sayulita, Mexico in three days for an adventure trip. We're gonna be surfing, we're gonna be mountain biking, we're gonna be playing in the ocean. Um, we're gonna be doing all kinds of fun things. So make sure you subscribe to our channel for those adventures. Today, what I wanna talk about are 10 essential items that I think you should consider for your next Mexico trip, Latin America trip, Central America trip, um, anywhere it's gonna be hot and humid basically. And so let's start with number one, which is my favorite called the bum bag, or as the United States calls it, the fanny pack. So I personally have two fanny packs. I have one that I like to call the functional fanny pack. It has tons of pockets, lots of space. It's good for when I'm traveling or doing something outdoors. And then I have one that I like to call the fancy fanny pack. And the fancy fanny pack is the one that I take with me if I'm gonna be doing date nights, if we're gonna be going out somewhere nice to eat, and I don't wanna bring the multicolored, you know, multi-pocketed fanny pack with me. Second item is some sort of water bottle. It doesn't have to be a hydro flask. It doesn't have to be fancy, but you want to bring some sort of insulated water bottle because when you're traveling to countries in Latin America, Central America, or Mexico, it's hot, it's humid, you're going to be sweating. And sometimes it's hard to get access to water because you can't drink the running water there. You have to buy water. And so if you want to keep it cold, I recommend an insulated water bottle to take with you on your travels. Number three is hydration packs. I got these at Costco for like 30 bucks. I usually take a whole pack with me when we go on a long trip because when I'm there, I'll consume tons of like Pedialyte or rehydration drinks and it gets expensive. So I like to buy these hydration packs and then add them to my water. So if I'm doing tequila tasting or if I'm surfing or I'm in the ocean a lot and that salt water is just sucking me dry, I have something to rehydrate. You're gonna feel better. You're gonna have more energy to do the activities you want. And the last thing you want on your vacation is some sort of heat stroke or dehydration. It's just gonna ruin the trip. Another important one to bring is hand sanitizer. So you can either get the hand sanitizer wipes or you can carry a little three ounce bottle of hand sanitizer that you can put in your backpack. You know, certain places in Mexico don't always have clean running water and there's not always a good wash station. So if you're coming off the beach or if you've been hiking all day or if you've been doing things all day and you go out to eat, you want to be able to wash your hands. This thing is something like Imodium, Pepto-Bismol, a first aid kit. I am going to do a whole video on what goes into my DIY first aid kit. But the biggest things when you're traveling to Central America or Mexico is you could get food poisoning. Take it from me. I've gotten food poisoning, I think, almost every single time I've gone to Mexico, Central America. And so I have just learned, take some Imodium, take some Pepto-Bismol. And if you know you get sick a lot, I even sometimes have my doctor prescribe uh, medication for traveler's diarrhea just so I can have it. There's nothing worse than getting Montezuma's revenge on your two week vacation. The next one is sunscreen sticks. Sunscreen in Mexico is expensive. And Mexico is really trying hard to stop using sunscreen that's hard on the reefs. So I do recommend, you know, something like these stick on sunscreens that are more mineral based. You can get them on Amazon. I'll link them in the description. These are the ones that I recommend. Um, and then I make sure I bring one for my body. And I usually bring two or three of these if we're gonna be in the sun a lot. And then two or three of the face ones specifically. This one is hiking sandals. You want one that has a good support. It can strap up, you know, you can also bring tennis shoes, obviously. I always bring a pair of hiking sandals because if I'm hiking through the jungles, my feet are likely gonna get wet and I don't want wet shoes and wet socks for my entire trip. One thing I will say is break in those sandals. If you're gonna be bringing sandals, break them in before you go and make sure they're good supportive sandals for the hikes. The next one is earplugs. When you're in Mexico, there's a lot of loud noises. You know, I live in an area where it's really quiet. I'm a light sleeper. So when I travel, I always bring earplugs. The next thing that I think you should bring if you're going on like a surf trip or you're gonna be in the water a lot and you're gonna have a lot of wet clothes is something like this. I know you can't really see it, but it's a bracelet that turns into a long rope. It's meant to be a safety rope, um, but we use these all the time, take them with us on vacation, and then just string up a rope, and then we hang our wet clothes on it. So another thing I really recommend is some sort of power bank. Definitely recommend if you're gonna be traveling internationally and you're gonna be gone for a few weeks, always bring an extra charger cord and a power bank so you don't end up in the middle of nowhere with a dead phone, not knowing how to get back to your lodging. So definitely consider a power bank. Now, here's kind of a bonus tip. If you're gonna be going to Latin America in the middle of summer, it's gonna be hot, it's gonna be humid, or sweating. So I do recommend if you're going to Central America or Latin America in the summer, getting one of those holdable fans. 
I've used one multiple times. It actually died on my last trip. And since we're going in April, I'm not too worried about the heat. But if you're gonna be traveling to those countries when it's hot, it's humid, and it's summertime, I definitely recommend just carrying around a handheld fan. They're easy to charge and they are a game changer. Always bring all the other necessary things you need, but this was just a short list of my top 10 plus a bonus of the things that I think you should consider when you're planning for your next trip to Mexico. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. And again, we're going to be heading to Mexico in three days. So please subscribe if you want to see all of our adventures.